Hey everybody, um, this is Fernandezo. I'm making a video on how to get this Link Sprite Q head Mega Shield to work with the Arduino Mega. Um, there's a lot of information out there that is false. Even the Link Sprite um, uh, site is is wrong and extremely confusing. So uh, basically, to start out. Um, they give you this this wiring diagram on Link Sprite. Um, this is pin 13, 12, 11, and 10. To make this work, we don't do what what it says on on this website. We just hook up 13, 12, and 11, and leave 10 hooked up to the Arduino Mega. So here's the actual wiring setup. You got pin 13 that goes into um, pin 52 you got pin 12 that goes into pin 50 this blue wire this pin 50, 52 and 50 and then you got pin 11 that goes into pin number 51 this is the green wire so hook, hook it up similar to this but don't do pin 10 and you have to bend out pin 13 12 and 11 um, the code you get from the website is somewhat correct um, let me show you here uh, let's see. sudo g edit spi dot h So I'm going to show you the code here. Um, they want you to change a few things around. Um, the first one, the the top portion is correct. It is bit zero, bit one, bit two, and bit three. That part is correct. Um, down here, where it starts with this, um, if if definition. Um, this portion needs to be changed to the one that's on the website, the LinkSprite website. Basically, what changed was this line of code um, where it says DDR RB and equals. There was uh, another term here, but you just replace it with this part. That's what changed in this in this um, if statement. And also here on the, I also went ahead and changed the else statement too. To the same thing there was another piece that was there was an or statement or something like that so I just got rid of that or statement and put this statement in there and then um, they wanted you to change actually this is correct this part they wanted you to change this part uh, the ZG 2100 CS bit that's correct the only thing that changed after that is the LED bit LED connection bit that changed from bit 6 to bit 5 so I changed that um, so that's pretty much what you had to change on the SPI.h file to make it work so to make a network you had in Ubuntu you went down to edit connections uh, wireless And I've I already hooked this up, already set this up so it works. Um, go to edit. So basically, you just change this, uh, the name, and change the mode to ad hoc, um, and then leave everything the same. Wireless security for this particular tutorial, I have none. Uh, IP4 settings, you have to change that to manual, 
and you set up your computer's IP address to be whatever you want it to be but have it point back at itself as the gateway and then you use 255, 255, 255, 0 as your net mask that just makes make sure that these three values 192, 168 and 2 have to be the same on the computer as well as Arduino so um, make sure that's correct and then you know you hit save and then I should I should say that IP6 settings I just ignored IP6 IP4 um, this is the computer's IP address once again um, and I don't think there's anything else that changed you gotta change the name make sure the name matches so you hit save um, so I'm going to what do I do here I'm gonna go back and get on the mega network that I just made or uh, created a while back so then let's see here we're gonna go to Arduino um, and I'm gonna open one of my sketches here that kinda shows what what happened so here we set the local IP to whatever you want it to be but it has these first three values have to be the same as your computer's values this I changed to 20 it could be any number as long as it's not the one you gave the computer um, the gateway IP is the the number you gave the computer and the subnet mask is 255 255 255 or um, zero at the end and then um, the name is the name you gave it the security type it kinda says what it should be but zero is open um, let's see here over here it defines what kind of wireless mode you're in so we should be in wireless mode ad hoc and that will be set up right here wireless mode ad hoc and this is just debugging code right here with the serial part but basically I had the serial print to tell me where, where it was at and uh, ordinarily it would just stay in this setup part and not go to initialize so we, we, I set up a value to output when it did initialize um, so this particular um, Arduino file is is um, a file that that you can find in your uh, your examples. If you go here to uh, QHead Mega when you install it, they should have like web server. That's what I'm using a uh, um, that particular their file, but I just put the put my values in there. So. Um, if you do use web server you have to come in here and change the apps config file and what you change is you change there's these commented portions so you have to uncomment the one that you're you're, you're using if you're using a web client, you uncomment web client and comment whatever you had selected before. But since I'm using a web server, I uncomment that and comment what was on there before that was Y server. So make sure you do that. So once I have that set up, I will upload this dot um, this Arduino sketch, and it's going to upload. And I'm just going to monitor my serial connection. I just click serial monitor. That should bring up my serial. It said set up there. And if it connected, it should say initialize, which it did. So now I'm going to go over here to Chrome and see if I can get that web page. And there it is. It works. You can see, hello people, can you believe it? This isn't a paperweight anymore. 50 bucks, not flushed down the toilet. Yay. <laughs>
It's a little humor there. So that's how you get it working. Set up your ad hoc network using edit connections. Um, set your local IP to the ones that's uh, that's required. Your local IP and the gateway, which is the IP you gave the computer, and change your SPI dot h file uh, where I said most of it is correct but you have to change that if statement you gotta change this part um, the DDRB and um, just just keep that just get rid of the part that's there the or part and and just keep that for both if and the else statement and I just went ahead and changed um, ZG, I think, I think this part was correct that was on here before, this ZG2100 part, but you had to change the LED bit, I changed that to 5, um, and I finally got it working, so, so that's what you gotta do. Alright, hope that helped. Here again is the wiring that I did. Okay, there you go YouTube.